Hey, hey. So uh, I want to talk to you guys today about why I'm going to be leaving Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we're going to be doing it for at least 365 days. That's right. I'm going to take myself off. I'm going to deactivate it. I think that's the right term. Uh, I've been on the fence. Do I delete it or what? I think I'm going to deactivate it so that if in a year from now I want to come back and do it again, uh, I can. But um, I'm going to go up. Now, I'm going to keep my YouTube page going because uh, I really uh, enjoy making uh, YouTube videos. And uh, I, I, I like it better because on my YouTube page, it's just people that kind of come across my videos and they like them. And, and there's uh, so many people on my YouTube that are very supportive of what I do that I'm like, you know what, I'll keep it. And it's more creative. Uh, where uh, Facebook and Instagram, I feel like it's just a bunch of haters, uh, people that I knew and used to like. And um, and it's not doing me any good to uh, get in arguments with uh, these people. And, uh, you know, I see some of these people online and I hate them, but in real life we're actually friends. So it's kind of weird. And, uh, you know, and I know it's been brutal the last few months. Uh, six months, you know, when these lockdowns are over, I got 30 fights lined up. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you know, I, mean, I don't know if I'll be choking people out while they're wearing their masks or, I mean, they ain't going to be able to social distance this fist, all right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, and, and it's just amazing to me uh, how some of these people, I mean, I, I don't even finish posting a comment and they're already, they're already leaving stuff. And then just some of just, just the raw stupidity of people leaving some of the most stupid comments on my thing. You know, I did a video from my dad's grave and some girl that didn't know my dad, hell, I don't know how she knows me. I don't know how she's on my page. I, I mean, I know a lot of people. So a after a while, I mean, it just kind of blurs in together. But she'd tell me how my dad would think about the whole coronavirus thing. Um, Yeah, lady, uh, I don't think you would know. Uh, It was, come on, he died when I was 19. He didn't know you, I don't know, just stupid. Uh, Just dealing with some people that is uh, just get on my nerves. And the, also another thing is just the uh, fact that, uh, let's take Mark Zuckerberg is an enemy of mine. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg stands for everything I hate because um, we're losing our privacy over everything. And that's our own narcissistic fault, right? I put so much of my stuff on social media and uh, that's my own fault. Uh, my own narcissism. I look at this joke, and sure, I don't care. It's just, I mean, I write some stuff that pisses people off, but you know, I know. I, I, I mean, come on, it's hard to beat me as a writer. Every day, I'm pounding stuff out. I mean, you guys only see what I put up on the computer. I mean, my journals are full of stuff. I mean, come on, I, I've written movies that got made. I've watched short films. You know, I'm the S H I T. I know that. I don't care if you do or not. So. My point being that, that Mark Zuckerberg is an ultimate enemy of mine. And what he uses his money for is pure corruption. We saw where he put $400 million into pure corruption. And I ain't even allowed to say what he did that was um, fraudulent that happened. But uh, because YouTube will take it down because YouTube has taken down a few of my truthful videos. But um, every time ads are being done on Facebook, Zuckerberg is getting richer. Well, he's an enemy, so why am I gonna help him get richer by putting up my glorious content and my well thought out thoughts? Okay, and it's uh, it's just disheartening for me. So I say, you know what? Uh, over the last couple months, I've lost my cool. And uh, you know, I ain't the type of man that does that. Uh, you know, and uh, for over stuff like this. And um, there's no point of, of me sweating over all these losers, you know. And, uh, you know, I had to have two Facebook pages because um, I wanted it did hit 5,000. Now it's down on some because, you know, you got to get rid of some of, the, <laughs> some of the garbage on your page, man. Some of them losers got to go. But, uh, and in the Instagram, I just, whatever. I'm just tired of it. It's a waste of my time. Every time I spend a minute to look at that is a minute I am improving me. Okay, and it doesn't matter who's on your Instagram or your social media, who's really there for you at the end of the day. And I thought about that. 
And I mean, look, I know a lot of you guys on my page, I love. And I got some legitimate friends. But at the end of the day, I can count on this hand who supports me 100%, who I trust 100% in and out all day, every day, since the beginning of my life to the end of it. My mom, my sister, Bob and Dolores, Mutzner, and my dog. My best friend has always been a dog. I've been on uh, Facebook for 11 years. I got one of those posts that came up on my page. It said I've been on Facebook for 11 years. He left, what a waste of my time. What a waste. What a waste of a life. I looked back and I said, what, what did I gain from all those Facebook time? How did it improve my life? And the only thing I can really think in positive that it did for me was help me promote my comedy shows and, you know, have uh, fun people come out to the comedy shows and friends that heard about my comedy shows because of Facebook and, you know, some funny pictures and, um, you know, sharing pictures of friends. But to give up 11 years worth of moments on that stupid thing that made Mark Zuckerberg one of the biggest scumbags who's ever walked the face of the earth, have so much power he now controls us, working with his buddy Bill Gates to put an unnecessary vaccine in us, I got some opinions that are right. And I get a lot of cra crap about it. And I feel like there ain't no point trying to lead the blind. So, that's it. Now, what I like about the New Year's is I do like the thing about the resolutions. It is a chance for you to try and change. It's a break. It's a number. Is it all garbage? In a way, yeah, New Year's is garbage. New Year's is just the same stuff again, but it gives you a chance to reevaluate what you did 365 days, where your strengths, where your weaknesses. I like to write in my journal in the morning, and if I have enough energy before I go to bed, I like to write in it again. And you start to notice themes in your life. Places where you're wasting time and making mistakes. Social media is a time waster. And wasting time is a mistake. And right now when the shows aren't popping off like they should be. Ain't no reason to promote nothing. Ain't gonna waste my time making those losers rich. And I ain't going to give no more fodder to all these people who try to been, been trying to blacklist me and ruin me. Because I think for myself and I'm not a sheep. You know who I am. I'm a real man. You know what time it is. Swine time.